what's that? He's one of the most powerful mutants in the Marvel Universe, but you might not have even heard of him before. Thanks to Marvel and FX, his story is coming to your TV on February 8th. Who is Legion? Why is he so important? And does he ever clean up after himself? Guys, it's Thursday in the universe, and that means we're nerding out on TV. But guess what? If you hit subscribe, you'll get to see us geek out over comic books, movies, anime, wrestling, and so much more. Now back to Legion, here are seven things you need to know before watching the show. Number one, Legion is Charles Xavier's son. Years ago, Charles Xavier and Magneto were helping out Holocaust survivors at an Israeli psychiatric institution. There, Charles met Gabrielle Haller and helped her break free from a catatonic state, at which point they began their romance. We'll spare you the details, but they got pregnant. Unfortunately, Gabrielle didn't tell Charles that she had gotten pregnant. Not cool, Gabby, not cool. So how did he find out? You are the father! Not exactly. Charles wouldn't meet his son David face to face until he was a teenager, and it wasn't exactly pleasant. Unsurprisingly, David dealt with abandonment issues, as Charles was preoccupied with some of the other mutants under his care. In short, it wasn't the most stable father-son relationship. Number two, Legion has multiple personalities. Legion is an Omega-level mutant. That means he's really, really powerful. And he also has schizophrenia. While we only know of a few dozen personalities, the comics acknowledge that Legion might have hundreds, if not thousands, inside his head. Those personalities have included a terrorist leader, a British punk rocker, a cowboy, a pirate that burps up acid gas, a living voodoo doll, a Nazi doctor with a monocle, a clown, a dentist, and a dinosaur with a clock for a face? Okay, I, I totally made one of those up, but I'm not gonna tell you which one. Let me know in the comments which one you think it is. Number three. Legion has a long list of superpowers. He may be the most powerful mutant we have ever encountered. Each one of David's personalities has a different power, and they're all fighting for total control of his mind. But his greatest power has to be that hair. I mean, how the hell does he pull it off? Kinda reminds me of this dude. Step into a Slim Jim! Eat me! Seriously though, the long list of powers include telepathy, telekinesis, pyrokinesis, shape-shifting, time travel, teleportation, superhuman strength, sonic blasts, flight, X-ray vision, healing, emotion manipulation, pain transference, reality warping. You know what, this is gonna take all day. All you need to know is that there isn't much he can't do. And on top of that, he's able to absorb anyone's consciousness. The only downside is he's a little unstable. Number four, Legion created the Age of Apocalypse. Sounds pretty horrible, right? Yeah, it was. But it's not this apocalypse. Seeing you that day on TV changed my life. Legion is responsible for creating an alternate timeline named the Age of Apocalypse. He wanted to preserve his father's dream of a world where humans and mutants lived in harmony. So his plan was to travel back in time and kill Magneto. And in a royal f up beyond comprehension, he inadvertently killed his own father, Xavier. He killed his dad. I immediately regret this decision. And in this alternate version of history, Magneto became the leader of X-Men, Apocalypse ruled the entire world, and his dad was dead. The original timeline was eventually restored thanks to Bishop, who traveled to the exact moment of Xavier's murder, used Legion's power to create a psionic loop, and reversed the whole thing. Legion temporarily lost his life in the process, but you know what? He kind of deserved it. Number five, Legion joined the X-Men. Kind of. Legion's relationship with the X-Men is as good as could be expected considering he's a crazy person with nearly unlimited powers. Like, you know, that one time when he was possessed by the Shadow King, as evil as it sounds, and was finally defeated by the X-Men. But he's also saved the X-Men on numerous occasions in their battles against the Nimrods and the Elder Gods in New Mutants. It's hard to have complete confidence in Legion as a regular member because he's a little erratic. That's an understatement. Number six, Legion's powers can be controlled, kind of. By now you're well aware that Legion is a bit unpredictable and unstable. But guess what? You would be too if you were a mutant with a troubling childhood and multiple personalities. Over the years, however, there have been attempts to try to control these powers. Like, there was this one time when a young mutant named Marcy was trapped inside Legion. A doll she was carrying enabled the persona holding it to take over full control of Legion. Obviously, this is a problem when one of the more evil personas grabs that doll. And another time, David would receive another gift to help control his powers, a neural switchboard wristband. It's like an Apple watched with Siri turned up to a billion. Only problem was the side effect, it created a new personality named Johnny Gamora that turned Legion completely white and gave him the ability to turn regular objects into salt, which struck fear into everyone's kidneys across the Marvel Universe. It's a serious health concern. Number seven, the majority of Legion's story takes place in his own head. I have to know. 
Is this real? Because David has a whole bunch of powers and personalities, a lot of the stories from the comics actually take place inside his head, literally. This is called the Mindscape, and it's an actual physical place where all of the various personas walk around. <laughs> Crazy, right? But it's also what makes Legion such a fascinating and unique character. All of these personalities are battling each other in his mind, and the consequences of which impact the outside world in dramatic ways. Guys, I have to be completely honest, before doing this video, I didn't know much about Legion. But after diving into the comics, I am extremely excited for this TV show. Let me know what you think of the character in the upcoming show. And please subscribe for more comic book, movies, TV, anime, wrestling. We have it all here at the universe. Thanks so much. And his dad was dead. <laughs> Is that too cold?